Our subject for today is Inquiries, Investigation, and Immersion or Three Eyes. You are now energized, so please be comfortable with your seats and give yourself a virtual clap for the perfect attendance. Please be guided also with our class rules. Now, I want you to prepare the following, notebook and pen, paper and book or module. Focus also with the word wealth to observe health matters and observe health protocol. And also be guided with the scoring setup. Now, I want you to focus and learn for we are going to continue our discussion today. Let's recall what was our last topic and what we learned in our previous lesson. Right, we learned about the understanding and ways to collect data along with the research design, population and sampling method, and data collection procedure. Now, how do you write the reference you used in your research? And what are the things that we need to consider? For us to be guided with words that we will encounter later, let's have a vocabulary list. We have data, and data analysis, bias, plagiarism, and intellectual honesty. For now, let's have a group activity first. Using the groupings in research, each group will be given an editorial cartoon. These are six editorial cartoons prepare for the six groups. The task is to tell what the editorial cartoon is all about and the message that conveys in three to five sentences. You will have five minutes for the said activity. You are guided with the objective and the rubrics for the activity. For content, 20 points, clarity of the presentation, 10 points participation and cooperation, 5 points, for a total of 35 points. Now, here's the editorial cartoon, make sure to analyze and understand it. Now, how do you find the activity? How were you able to determine the message conveyed in the editorial cartoons? What did you do to be able to tell something about these editorial cartoons? So what do you think is our topic today? You are right, our topic today is about finding the answers to the research questions or data analysis method. But first, we need to be guided with the learning competency. Presence analyzes and interprets data in tabular and textual forms with intellectual honesty. Now, I want you to listen attentively. Let's know the interpreting the data. Interpretation is the process of attaching meaning to the data. After identifying and analyzing, coding and organizing a presentation, and identifying the themes and patterns, the next step is to interpret the results. The following are the steps in interpreting the research findings. We also have the following levels of interpretation as considered in organizing the discussion of the results by Duckett and Pangilinan, 2006. We have level 1 to level 4. Take note that the importance of data interpretation is evident and this is why it needs to be done properly. Data is very likely to arrive from multiple sources and tends to enter the analysis process with haphazard ordering. And data analysis tends to be extremely subjective. The varying scales include nominal scale, ordinal scale, interval and ratio. For nominal scale, a non-numeric categories that cannot be ranked or compared quantitatively. Variables are exclusive and exhaustive. For ordinal scale, exclusive categories that are exclusive and exhaustive but with logical order. And for interval, a measurement scale where data is grouped into categories with orderly and equal distances between the categories. There is always an arbitrary zero point. And for ratio, it contains features of all three. Let's know also, how to interpret data. When interpreting data, an analyst must try to discern the difference between correlation, causation, and coincidence, as well as many other bias, but also consider all the factors involved that may have led to a result. We also have quantitative data interpretation that could summed up in one word, that word would be numerical. For mean, it's a numerical average of a set of values. And standard deviation is another statistical term commonly appearing in quantitative analysis. And for frequency distribution is a measurement gauging the rate of a response appearance within a data set. And for the percentage, it used to express how a value or group of respondents within the data relates to a larger group of respondents. So why data interpretation is important? 
The purpose of collection and interpretation is to acquire useful and usable information and to make the most informed decisions possible. For data analysis and interpretation, regardless of method and qualitative or quantitative status, may include the following characteristics. We have data identification and explanation, comparing and contrasting of data, identification of data outliers, and future predictions. Data analysis and interpretation, in the end, helps improve processes and identify problems. It is difficult to grow and make dependable improvements without at the very least, minimal data collection and interpretation. It's important to be informed with decision making, it's a decision that good is the knowledge that formed it. We need also to know by anticipating needs with trends identification, it's the data insights that provide knowledge. And for cost efficiency, a proper implementation of data analysis processes that provide business with profound cost advantages within their industries. And the last for clear foresight, companies that collect and analyze their data gain better knowledge about themselves and performance. For now, let's proceed to presenting data for interpretation. We have textual method, rearrangement from lowest to highest, and stem and leaf plot. Another is tabular method, relative eft, cumulative eft, frequency distribution table and contingency eft. And the graphic method, it has bar chart, histogram, frequency polygon, pie chart, less than, greater than, ogive. For various methods of data presentation can be used to present data and facts based on available data set. Widely used format and data presentation techniques are mentioned below. It has, as text, raw data with proper formatting, categorization, indentation is most extensively used. And for tabular form, is generally used to differentiate, categories, relate different data sets. And for frequency distribution table or EFT, is a table which shows the data arranged into different classes or categories and the number of cases or frequency which fall into each class. It also have graphic form, ADA can further be presented in a simpler and even easier form by means of using graphics. Bar charts or bar graphs, the most widely used charts for showing of grown. We have line chart, showing the change of population. Another is pie charts, best representing the share with different components. Another also is a combo chart, a combination if more than one chart type. Let's move to the descriptive statistics, also known as descriptive analysis, is the first level of analysis. It helps researchers summarize the data and find patterns. Now, I want you all to be attentive with the intellectual honesty in research as applied method of problem solving, characterized by an unbiased, honest attitude, which can be demonstrated in a number of different ways including the 10 signs of intellectual honesty. We have number 1, do not overstate the power of your argument, number 2, show willingness to publicity, acknowledge that reasonable alternative viewpoints exist. For number three, be willing to publicly acknowledge and question one's own assumptions and biases. Number four, be willing to publicly acknowledge where your argument is weak. And for number five, be willing to publicly acknowledge when you are wrong. We also have number six, demonstrate consistency. For number seven, address the argument instead of attacking the person making the argument. And let's proceed to number eight. When addressing an argument, do not misrepresent it. And for number 9, show a commitment to critical thinking. And for number 10, be willing to publicly acknowledge when a point or criticism is good. Now, can you think of example where analysis and interpretation are applied apart from research? If you have clarification about our discussion, please don't hesitate to inform me. Now I want you to focus and learn. For now, let's have an exploration. The following are in a form of group work. Each member of the group should participate and cooperate. You will do the assigned task provided with rubric. Make sure to observe the time. Before doing this activity, I would like to remind each one of you to work in a safe and clean place to avoid any accident that may harm you while doing this activity. Again, you are guided with rubrics. Focus in it, I will present sample of data research and the group's task is to present the data in tabular form and give analysis and interpretation of these data on a manila paper. And for another learning task, what I have learned. These are for students who cannot perform because he or she is suffering from illnesses. 
Now, let's wrap up our topic, what is interpretation of data referred to in research, and what are the ways to present the data gathered in your study? And let's supply our ideas to this, I learned that, you can write it in your reflection notebook and pass it next meeting. Always remember that data analysis is the most important component of research, and exercise moral virtue, and find facts, and increase respect, seek insights and make sure that your findings are insightful and actionable with honesty. If you understand our discussion, please give yourself a virtual clap, and if you have clarification, please don't hesitate to inform me. Now, let's proceed with our evaluation, to test if you really understand our topic. Make sure to read the direction and observe the time, of course, strictly no erasures if you have your paper with you, good luck. Let's have identification for test A, instruction, provide the correct answer of each item and write it in your notebook or separate sheet of paper. For test B, read the following survey result analysis. Use a separate sheet of paper in answering the activity. Make sure to present the data in textual, tabular, or graphic presentation. Interpret the data using the format of presentation you are guided with rubrics presentation 50%, interpretation 50%, so a total if 100%. Great, you finished answering the activities and questions, congratulations and keep on learning! Now, I want you also to be guided with this Republic Act 1017-5. For our question of the day, why should I care? Always remember to think before you click and be responsible in using technology, make sure to put a limit on it. Please continue to study your lessons and observe health protocol. Links are credited in the references. Thank you for listening.